In this exercise, we will graph a polynomial function using its n behavior, x and y intercepts. Consider the following function. f of x is equal to a negative x to the fourth plus 6x cubed minus 9x squared. Let's begin to graph by discussing this particular polynomial's n behavior. We see that the leading coefficient is negative and the degree is even. When we have this kind of a combination, what we will notice is that our y will get smaller as x gets larger. And similarly, y will get smaller as x gets smaller. So as we're looking at our infinity approaches, this graph's n behavior can be mimicked by the words down, down. We're going to be seeing it going towards negative infinity in the y, no matter what x is doing. Well, let's go ahead and move away from the ends and towards the intercepts now. In order to find a y-intercept, we may substitute in 0 for our x in order to solve for the y. In doing so, we will see that this particular graph will have a y-intercept at 0, 0. Thus, this graph will pass through the origin. Now, in order to determine our x-intercepts, we need to go through and do some factoring. We will set our polynomial equal to 0 in order to make this happen. Well, looking at our factoring here, well, notice that all of these have in common an x squared. Since the leading coefficient is negative, we will factor out a negative x squared. Thus, we will be left with x squared minus 6x plus 9 as our remaining polynomial. Now, x squared minus 6x plus 9 is a perfect square trinomial. This particular perfect square trinomial will factor into x minus 3 quantity squared. Now, setting each of these factors equal to 0 and solving for the x will result in x equaling 0 and then x equaling 3. So thus, our intercepts will be represented by 0, 0, which we already did have, as well as 3, 0. Now, on both of these cases, our x-intercepts, our roots here, are going to have a multiplicity of 2. So when we graph these, we are going to see a bounce happening on the x-axis versus having a cross. Well, let's go ahead now and begin to construct our particular graph. We'll notice that we have a y-intercept and the x-intercept as well occurring at the origin. And our under-intercept is occurring at 3, 0. Now, we know that our end behavior is going to be going towards negative infinity in the y's. So on both cases here, our graph will be pointing downwards. Since we have bounces and not crosses, we will go to our intercept, change directions, and repeat. And thus we have the final graph of our given polynomial. When graphing polynomial functions, n behavior, the y-intercepts, and the x-intercepts can be used to create a basic sketch. To go further, you may also use local max and minimum values.